it's better now. It did hurt to breathe today. It was the uh, the floating rib that I injured. Um, yeah, I. It started like hurting where I couldn't turn to check my blind spot in my when I was driving. Ouch. And then it was okay to breathe, but then when you take a big breath and cough, like that's when it started hurting. Yeah. Or even just coughing, period. And then it just, because I was still active today, like doing stuff and moving around, mm -hmm. I don't know if that made it better, but it's not as bad now, but it's just like every time the core is activated, it's like that's when the pain starts creeping Which in. Which is like always... You know me. I always activate. The core is always activated with you. I get friends that I was looking yeah. at like, man, are you? Is your core activated right now? Because I can tell. That's a tight core. <laughs> I was like, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's, everything's about core, man. That's yeah. what I do. I open up the <laughs> pelvis and I tighten the core. That's yeah. what I do. That's what you do. That's my thing. It's my routine. That's <laughs> what you're known for. <sighs> it's like the first time I actually felt like not old, but like getting, kind of old. getting old <laughs> because... It's funny, so I got the inj injury during jiu-jitsu, and I, I was, we're doing drills with this other guy who is like 55, he's a pilot, a really nice guy, and, and you know, he's trying to maneuver his body, and he's like, oh man, like my knees are tight, blah, blah, and he's like, well, I have screws in this knee, and then I have, you know, brace in this knee, and blah, 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 he goes, and also, you know, I'm 55, mm -hmm. and so bones, you know, joints don't move as well as they do, and I was like, yeah, I hear it, like I heard, like, I hear like you guys have to like stretch out before we, like you guys in the morning yeah you people you old folk yeah I, I said you people well at first i said ew and then i said you people ew okay yeah um you no but he was um he's like yeah that kind of comes like yeah so i'm always like keeping on the back of my mind and so when i got this injury i wasn't doing anything dumb i wasn't doing anything like i wasn't like going into like the the grappling class like cold and jujitsu like i i already warmed up because i did two mm -hmm. classes and we just had this white belt that came, this brand new guy that came in, this firefighter. And, you know, he was just doing what a new person would be doing. And he wasn't being reckless and I wasn't being reckless. But and I moved my body in that pos in that way many a times. And then yeah. one small Wrong move. It was a it was a smooth, slow move yeah. with his pressure on me. And then all of a sudden that back left side floating rip, just all Ooh. of a sudden the stabbing pain and. And I didn't, I thought it was a tight muscle and then I kept feeling for it and I was like, no, that's too tight. That's, that's a bone, right? That's a floating rib. So when you injure a rib, yeah. like, is it something that's, cause I, I mean, obviously with muscle, it's like when it is stretched too far, you hurt it sure. or something, but how do you injure a bone without it actually like cracking? Well, I think when people say you sp like a sprained rib kind of thing, um, I think what people are meaning is the muscle that's around, around it. So like, like the, the tendons yeah, or whatever. Yeah, the intercostals yeah. and stuff like that. It's like you, you pull them or tweak them. That or, makes more sense. I'm and, like, how do you, how does yeah. your rib hurt? And muscle is, it's, it's funny, like not a lot of people understand it, but like muscle, if you think muscle, like whether it's the simplest muscle, like let's explain is like the bicep, right? It's just elongates. Well, like, you know, a guy will flex it and boom, there's a bump there. Like it's really just fine strands of, of, I forgot what the official anatomy word is, but like muscle fibers that are going across mm -hmm. like strings. And when you're sore, those strings, there were muscle strings that ripped and mm -hmm. that's where the soreness comes from. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's touching nerve endings. Well, you could also get your muscles since they're running in these little, uh, you know, linear dimensions um, and they're so fine. You could also have them not up like a knot, right? Like, 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 so it's, it's linear. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden there's like a cluster Ooh. and that's what we'd call like, oh, I got a knot in my muscle. Can you mm -hmm. help get that out? And you can't really ever massage it out. You just have to relax that part of the muscle by massaging it. Um, and then it'll relax Slowly. and un un yeah. untwine itself. But um, with the intercostal rib, I don't know specifically what, I, I think the same kind of movement happened um, that maybe I hyper extended and yeah. it tore a little bit. So it's maybe it's like that soreness. Maybe it's some of the fibers clunked up. Clunk, clunked? Clunked. Um, clumped? Clumped up. I don't know. So I'm not a rib specialist. Yeah. Just well, a guy with a YouTube channel. <laughs> well, thank you for the science lesson, mm -hmm. Mr. M. And you can take that to the back bank. in high school. Since everybody is getting homeschooled right now with COVID, I think I feel that like was, I just, that's the yeah. best education they'll get. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of bro science. Science 101. A lot of bro right? science.
anatomy and physiology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. <laughs> Thank it's you. All there. Yeah, it's all there. Thank you for your imparting your wisdom on uh, me and the rest the of the world. I share the wisdom with world. the world uh, as my way to just give and I give. Just give. You know I just like to give back. I you know, I content. receive, I give back. <laughs> well, I like to receive. <laughs> Definitely like to He's receive. He's a giver. I like to receive. <laughs> and when asked, I'll give. Oh, I'll give it hard. But, but I also like but to receive. But mostly re- like to receive. I like to receive. <laughs> sure, sure. Different context. That's not uh, the way I wanted to play out when me receiving, you know. I'm, I'm You're lost? lost. Uh, I don't want gay sex on me. <laughs> oh, that's that receiving. receiving. That's receiving. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to receive. <laughs> I like I've never tried receiving. To receive. I've never tried receiving, but I I'm I'm gonna but take you a while said- to, <laughs> I'm gonna take a while to end there. I don't want to receive. <laughs> I just want to be part of something. <laughs> I feel like we need to do hard 180 right now. <laughs> 180, sure. All right, let's get it hard. Last uh, last week we kind of tackled our house dream house like deal breaker kind of well the title was as dream house non-negotiables non-negotiables okay but really they're not really non-negotiables because we're gonna have to negotiate hard real hard sure sure because my non-negotiables are to um what's the word i'm looking for high maintenance okay i agree (laughs) You agree? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I don't disagree. You're not a high maintenance person in marriage. You, I think in you've only ever been high maintenance around a home. Yes. You know why? Because this is my profession now. But you did that before you. That was your profession. Really? Yeah. So this house a, because it's something I'm passionate about. So house. I don't have. Yeah. I, I'm. I feel like I'm pretty yeah laid back about a lot of things, but n- especially now that I am better at making decisions when it comes to house stuff and what I like and don't like, it's it's like a hard no now or. So that's your way of saying, if you thought it was difficult or <laughs> in terms of purchasing a house, wait till we, hey, yes. hey babe, <gasps> babe's not here. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. you summoned. Yeah, um, I just walk around with a broomstick all the time. Creepy, creepy. Um, yeah so so it's more i feel like what we kind of brushed on was more of our dream house negotiable non-negotiable so it's like not necessarily our next house non-negotiables but if it was like a dream scenario well i'm approaching this as our next house being the dream house oh me too i was just kidding (laughs) (laughs) oh how quickly oh no way me too as well the the same also as Well, well and the only reason i say this is because we've Gonna Though make- we thought this is a long-term home, uh, it wasn't. we realized that the next house, the house with some property, that's the house that's going to be the long-term home. And so that's the idea. So do you feel like you got everything off your chest that you wanted last no, time? No, I didn't. <laughs> what, do you, what do you feel like? And I well, think you listened to a little bit of the podcast. Yeah, so you have more of a I refresher. I had a few. So I'll refresh. I think one of mine was I, we, I wanted like a house still in a community. So... Not necessarily yeah. like a subdivision like we live in, but something where we don't have neighbors like a mile away. They're, yeah. you know, even though we're like kind of like, yeah. Not a mile ahead. An acre and a half away or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because if, if we're on like a couple acres and everybody else is on a couple acres, that would be awesome because mm-hmm. they're not like literally the next, you know, next door, but it's okay. like, you know, a little ways down, okay. but still enough for, because I just feel bad for our kids. Sure. I feel like they wouldn't have. Who? Anybody to play with? Who? Those ones. One of them's. Oh, what's oh, his name? These little turds that keep coming. Co- the bee. They keep coming around. Yeah. They keep coming around, eating Gosh. all of our food. <laughs> really eating all of our food. Dinky ones. Oh, you mean the ones that today they, before dinner, took a a, a plastic container, a small plastic tote. Filled it with water and what are those things? It wasn't small. It was like a decent size. It was a medium size. Toe. It was a medium, medium size, size toe. tote with uh, what are those? Orbeez. Little, with Orbeez floating there. And then these two boys <laughs> took their pants off. These two rascals. Five and seven years old took their pants off and sat down together with bare butts inside. In the Orbeez because it felt good. Creating this cold Orby butt soup. Yes. That's exactly those. Those those are the people you're those people. Gotcha. Okay, so their priorities are first. Got it. <laughs> cool. Those little They're winners. Geniuses. They're winners. <laughs> okay, so so you're in the, you're in a subdivision. 
uh, or not, you're in a community. Um, yeah. Just what else you got? No. And then I, I think the other one I talked about was um, I wanted just like a, a laundry room that was bigger than the one that we have so now. So you want, you want like a walk-in laundry room? Walk-in. I just want like counter space where I can actually fold laundry and also like have a sink where I can throw whatever, you know, like a poopy onesie that, you know, Harper had a blowout in. And then... Sure. Instead of like doing it in the bathroom. You know what I think you're secretly wanting because, and what? this is not to knock on you, but like, it's not <gasps> like you're, you're doing laundry like on the regular every day that you're like, <laughs> if only I had more space. I, I just would think, do it way I just, more often. I just think you, and this is not a knock. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, I think what you're actually wanting to do is have a bigger room to have bigger piles <laughs> of <laughs> clothing. Maybe, but no, but in like in reality, like I, I think I said this last time, I can't even keep anything in there because it's so small. I, sure, I no. can't hang up. I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. It's just it's just too small. You're doing your best. I get it. I'm just trying so hard. Yeah, I over would fold. Here. I would fold this laundry, but I would even iron in there. Like yeah. a, a prime example, I would love to keep our ironing board in there for like when we have to iron. <laughs> <laughs> the one time a year <laughs> I have to iron. You are lying through your teeth right now. You're creating this dream scenario where you're saying, I would be so productive. I've seen your mom's no, I'm not saying I'd be pro- laundry room. I would not say, I have not said uh-huh. I would be productive. Yeah. I just want just, more space. Yeah, that space stuff. It equals just a place. More piles, like, exactly. A, so you're basically looking for extra... You're looking, so it's kind of like a garage for me, yes. not a shop, but a garage where you're like, I need a bigger garage, not because I'm to working more on cars, stuff, yeah. so we could store more <laughs> yeah. stuff, right? Well, yeah. So, so you is yes. like the same, you're like, instead of <laughs> going two loads either. of laundry, you're like, oh, now I can go yeah. a week without doing it. <laughs> I'll just buy more stuff. <laughs> just exactly. I'm like, hey, hon, I'm out of pants and shirts. Like, cool. Just buy new pants and shirts. <laughs> it's I'll, fine. We have room in the laundry. We have, we have loot. Just store it. That's, so that's what Maybe. I Okay. So you have I a just, yeah, I just community. Yeah. space. You have more space in the laundry. What else you got? Um, I had another. You have, have a, list? a list. Let me look. At oh, it. I had I no idea. You have a list. This is some uh, psychopathic work. No, it's not a list. This is like you're planning a murder right now. What do you? Our house <laughs> so, is not even for sale. So, um, the other one was. I want a bonus room for sure. What's okay? So that's a good que- a thing that we could both dive into. Bonus room. Tell me what you think the bonus room would look like. Like be okay. So our boys are five and seven. I swear, if you say playroom, that's ooh. no. Okay, I don't want a playroom because okay. they don't. They don't even play no, they in don't. their room. No, they don't. They don't play with toys. No, they they play outside. Like, I want to read. Yeah. I want to read. I was like, shut up. Go yeah. go go. Yeah. Go s- snort pixie stick. <laughs> Smell markers. No, our you boys can't. are boys. Okay. They don't. They the only toys they have that they play with is Legos. Yeah. So that's it, mm-hmm. and um, they just play outside, which I think is no, it's great, awesome. it's fantastic. So I it's just going to be a Harper and her toys. <clears throat> but um, I want a bonus room that has couches. Like maybe even like a but what but okay, what is it called ahead. a projector no. screen or something okay. that where we can do like movie nights. Okay. Um, but a place where as the boys grow up, cause we want to stay in this house for a while. Like okay. this is our dream house, like be able to like either play their video games with their friends there okay. and have watched movies there with their friends as they're growing up, okay. whatever it is, maybe have like some kind of table back there that they can do board. We can do like game night and have board games, things mm-hmm. like that, where it's like a multi-purpose sure. bonus room, if that makes sense. Maybe even have like a sleeper sofa up there where uh-huh. somebody stay in the night. They can just, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm actually kind of relieved that that's where the direction you took this because I want, are not- I want a room that I don't necessarily feel like I want, I need a, um, <laughs> by the way <laughs> so the reason we're laughing this is how parenting we're trying to parenting rock this 101. uh so when we record we let our kids play on their screens uh, for one hour because that's how long we record and then we have a nanny cam that we're looking at right now and we told the boys listen 
Uh, you have to make sure your job is to make Harper, our four month old, happy. So we fed her before this and all that yeah. stuff. Usually she takes a nap. She or we, because we record when she's yeah. sleeping. But this time, yeah. because it's a school night. Yeah, it's too early for the for four yeah. So the boys are on the screen. Beckham is, so Jack's on a switch right now on the couch. Beckham is on his iPad I'm and Harper is laying on the floor on this little play gym with like these ringing toys hanging above her. And Beckham's just sitting there staring at his iPad, <laughs> holding one of her little bells and just ringing it while staring at a screen. So Harper is on the ground going, hey, dude, can I ring it? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, that's good. That's it's cute. Good. Well, it's he's really trying. Cute. He's trying. He is. Yeah. He's just ringing it. Yeah. He's, he's like, he's like, you like mean, this? This is fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, As yeah, he's yeah. watching his video, yeah. <laughs> and he's got headphones on too. So she's like, "All right, dude, let's slow down the, the, the pace." <laughs> that's uh, cute. I love it. Yeah. No, he's They're trying. Sweet. That's cute. Um. So I'm actually glad that's what you said because I've always wanted a room where. We can have like a ping pong table yeah. or a pool table or foosball yes. table. Yes. I want those kind of Fun things, things in there. for like yeah. older. Because our kids, yeah, they don't play with toys. So like sure. as they're growing up, we can obviously it will um, evolve into, you know, different things. But it would be so fun. Yeah. Can I ask you something, though? Uh, so you and this is OK. So I've been I, I'll be completely honest with you. I've been wanting to ask you this, but I didn't Ooh. know how to approach this. Uh oh, Um. The answer is no. I will not be part of a sister wife. Okay. Well, tell me more of what you want part of this house. Then <laughs> put a kibosh. You didn't want to listen. Hear me out. Um, what if you picked her out? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe. She's like, hey, hun, look, I brought somebody. She's like, she's got no teeth. She's got like an amputated leg from diabetes. She's got the biggest mustache you've ever seen because she's from Scandinavia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just got excited for yes, a second. Yeah, that's what you would, because yeah, that's like, what you wow. would prefer. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. Um, so one thing I wanted to ask you and bring it up to you is, I, I have. Wait, are we gonna fight right now? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I could totally beat you up. You're, yeah, yeah. You Although would, remember you, we established last time, I can you would, bite you and would, tickle. You, would, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, you, you'll, yeah, you'll totally get beat up. For sure. <laughs> no, uh, no, Jiu-jitsu. you're you're really strong. You're, she's really strong. I I will give you that. You're here's the problem though. This is the hub, the your strength. Because with me, as soon as I start giggling and laughing, all of my strength goes out the window. Yeah, like I don't know how to how, focus. Well, it. it's called mind mind control. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to get you weak. Yeah. Uh. So I've always wanted a pictured like I have a dream scenario where it, it's either an office space. Or, because I don't care for a man cave, I really don't. But if a playroom is set up in a proper way, then that's kind of my fulfillment and or office space. Mm -hmm. And the one that I, the the way I kind of want it set up is like, I really want it to be more masculine than feminine. Like I don't- The bonus room? Bonus room or office. You know, I wanted to have that like vintage leather couch feel, right? Like a cigar room kind of couch. I want it to have like a big old high quality like American flag somewhere like in the back or something like that. I want it to have like, um, you know, cool, you know, uh, antlers maybe on the wall. I want it to have mm-hmm. like dark walls where they're like flat black or something like that. Mm-hmm. I want it, you know, I wanted to give it that cool like cigar vibe. You know what I mean? Moody. Like moody kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it. You would like it? Like, I mean, there's even a potential. And I don't know, maybe some people will like give kickback. But I've seen it done where it's like there'd be even like an accent wall of like guns hanging. Obviously, no magazine. They're all like discharged with like mm-hmm. a fire pen or whatever. But like there'd be like hanging on the wall, um, like an accent wall thing. Like I just wa- always wanted this cool thing of like this Texas, you know, cigar room style thing that you can have a pool table or something like that a ping pong table but just like that kind of moody dark americana feel so it sounds like you're describing a man cave <laughs> well no but like the design of it would be a man cave but i don't really care for like sports because when i you say man cave i don't i i think people always look like, like like nothing has a stylistic approach to it you just oh. have you just have a seahawks you know helmet on there 
you know, whatever just jersey on the stuff wall like th- that yeah, you like throwing. A hodgepodge. No, room, like yeah. I wanted to have like a, a classic Muhammad Ali boxing black and white poster. You know, I want to have like a classic, you know, Frank Sinatra black and white poster. Like, you know what I mean? Like, classy. I want, I want it, it to be classy, but I want yeah. it to have that. Is that, would you say that something that's doable? And if so, is that doable more for like that bonus room or more of like an office space? I think a bonus room because okay. you have the like if we get um like a pool table or something like a foosball table and i think you can create that cool vintage vibe and you can also do more things in there mm-hmm. right because so the bonus get, room is bigger yeah. so you have more space to sure. kind of create that kind of look and in an office it's the vibe is a little bit i guess different i okay. don't know so you just gave me permission and mm-hmm. consent in front of millions billions of i think probably billions listen, probably yeah. billions that's yeah, just to be least. on the conservative side yeah Listeners. i mean let's yeah <laughs> yeah that's that's exciting okay well so that's good so that's yeah. okay cool. but you agree with the bonus room okay well yeah yeah yeah. no that's great like i never really objected to like a place where we can have you know i i what i don't what and which seems like you're so super on board is like i don't ever want to have another playroom because well, i think we realized twice. early on they don't they don't work the only time our kids have ever played in the playroom is if we were in there with them yeah hitting which them, hitting them actually which, <laughs> actively which is like that's not the reason for it the the purpose of the playroom is for them to play to by leave. themselves yeah and that was not the case yeah or like if you know friends came over but that mm-hmm. was rarely and so we i think we both just realized early on it just didn't work okay so what else do you got uh so you got bonus room you got community what else you got um let me try to think oh, of some room. So well uh, you haven't said any of yours so let's go well I've i wanted to get you, i wanted to get your stuff out of the way so then i could start <laughs> talking about mine i'm trying to think if there's any others nothing that's so it seems like anything you don't mention right now is something that's not a high priority then Everything else, like, obviously, oh, I want to... Whoa, 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 One thing I do want to... Because we've had this conversation. Some of that... So, we've seen probably maybe two or three houses that a realtor sent us over where the house would be, like, on a hill and it looked really small and modest from the front, but on the back side, it looked we pretty We talked grand. about this last time, yeah. Did we talk about it? Where it's, like, in the basement. And so, that's a deal I don't breaker. Like the, I don't like the basement rooms. That's going to be difficult. Okay. I know. <clears throat> okay. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker just because... No, 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 no. But I'm not saying like all the rooms would be downstairs for the kids. Just some. It would be like some of the rooms. So it'd be like a living. I'm fine with that. I just yeah. don't want all the rooms to be downstairs because I think so. One what of if the one kid like to... is upstairs and the other kid's downstairs? They wouldn't. I feel well, like they... our boys wouldn't. Sure, but <laughs> I would want like in a dream scenario. I would mm-hmm. love to ha- if if there was a basement the bonus room be in the basement and then okay. like a couple like guest bedrooms sure. right okay. and then everybody else's rooms are on the main floor because okay. in reality like our kids are still young like yeah. i don't want them to be yeah but i'll buy them a gun <laughs> <laughs> they'll be protected okay so it seems like you got everything off the off of your well chest. i have a, one i have maybe like one more so I, I and I, this was one of mine in this house i really want a fireplace which i feel like in old a lot of homes you looked at they had fireplaces anyway yeah i think that usually comes with it most older Ooh, homes that do land. that have that much land and that much square footage usually most of them do natural or gas it doesn't matter i don't care that much honestly what about you uh i don't really care either i the just I- love the cozy i don't breakfast. like there's a lot of things that sound like a great idea to me and sounds pretty romantic in my mind, but it's like me having to do that thing. Like, I, I know. Fireplace, cool. I have to clean it. I have to start the fire every time. Versus now, like, we have a gas fire pit and I can just flip a That's switch and true. be like, I'm going to make you start it. Fires are ready. That's why hey, we don't hon, have a I'm dino. having girls' night. Yeah. Can you come downstairs and start the fireplace yeah. for me? Or, like, you know, like, that's why we don't have a dog because it's like, it's going to be me taking the dog out and me taking care of the dog. And, yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I don't want to add more chores to me, you know, like it's true. I mean, maybe once the boys got older, they could do it, but that's still a ways away. So yeah, can't count on so, them yet. So some of my, um, okay, I guess high priority things is I think l- land and the amount of land is important to me, um, with the amount of trees that are there. Like I can't have just mature like a, trees. Well, yeah, but like I, the, what mature trees symbolize to me is like uh, it secludes and isolates me and us from the rest of the people like in the community. Yeah. So I want that. So land and I guess like character of that land is important to yeah. me. Um, a shop space is high on the priority list. 
Um, it's very important. And the reason I say this is not necessarily because I don't want this big thing to do, but it's like with right now, one of the things that really makes me dread living in this house is the fact that there's not enough room to store things and be comfortable to walk mm -hmm. around. I want to be able to, you know, if I need to work on my truck to bring it into my garage, which I, any, you've seen my truck, it's lifted, we've got big mm -hmm. wheels. There's no way I can get into a regular garage space. So I would have to be a shop space. I would like a, a shop space to just be comfortable to hauling stuff in, to have a big rack of lumber that I can pick from, to have a rack of metal that I can pick from. Right. And that's important because we'd also be living on a large acreage of land. So like right now we have a hardware store that's a mile away. So I can quickly run down. But if we live, that won't be the case. It's gonna be. We're gonna have to start using words like we're going into town, yeah. and and that's. And then you forget something, come back. But if you have a little bit of a surplus of certain yes. things, then you can be like, oh, I have this. Like, so I, I've actually kind of started this organization. You know, organization is my love language. I started this organization system in my garage right now, where like after some of these home improvement projects, I I got this big tote, and that one's like labeled like electrical, and the other tote's like labeled plumbing. Mm -hmm. And so I have all these little connectors and fittings that are left over from previous jobs right. that I put in there that's the stuff on the regular that I have to go and buy anyway. Yeah. So if, if you have a little thing to go like, do I have this? Oh, I do have, have extras. I yeah. just saved a trip from going to get one little, you know, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, you know, yeah. PVC pipe fitting, you know, cu coupling. So, uh, so shop space is important. Uh, character of the land is important. Um, high ceilings is important for me. Um, and I don't think that's difficult to find because I've seen some of these older homes and, and some of them are pretty grand ceilings. Yeah. Um, a bonus uh, bonus room is important to me uh, for that. I want it to be, I want it to have a full on setup bar, right? Yeah. Like I want it to have. That would be, you know, I would love that. A pool yeah. table. Where it has, it's like you hang out there. You, you don't just like take your toys there, play for, you know, five minutes and leave. It's like, yeah. it's like a, a whole vibe in there where you yeah, just hang I, out. I want it to be. Like it would be kind of even nice for me. I was thinking about this. I was like, even like if we didn't have a TV in our living room, mm -hmm. but just kept a TV there, because that would be like our designated. Like sure. See, I would, I would, space. I would argue with the other, uh, opposite because we know how the thing is. Like, we have a sixty-inch TV, and we don't really get to watch it because our kids hog it during the day. So to have two, TVs. and we don't want the TV to be in the room or or anything upstairs because yeah. we want them to be present with us because we don't want them watch some junk or anything like that. But we want them to be present. We want them to be around us. We don't want them to be in a situation where, like, hey, mom and dad, we're hiding in our room playing video games. Yeah. Um. But what I'd like to do is have like a projector, like you said, there. therefore, like if the boys are like watching a movie, I can go down there and watch the UFC fight or something like that. Even if mm -hmm. it's by myself, like I can, so I don't have to go hide in my office and watch it on my computer screen. Like I could, I could do that there, you mm -hmm. know, like I want that kind of freedom and, and movie night and stuff like that. So those are my three so far. Uh, let's see if I can think of anything off the top of my head. Um, I backyard space is important to me in terms of like a patio deck, patio or deck or something like that. But I know that's something I could always make. Yeah. Um. And so I'm as not, long as the land is there, you can. As long create. as the land's there, and and you know whether it's a big wraparound deck, fantastic. I'd love a big wraparound deck in the mm -hmm. backyard. Um. I, I I want. Uh, what's also important to me is like I want significant space from the front yard to my house. Like I want a little bit of driving. So a long room. driveway. A longer thing. driveway. I don't. It's it bothers me a lot. I don't know if I can relate to a lot of people about this, but like it seems like I used to, and I mentioned this before. I used to consider myself to be an extroverted person, but the more YouTube and the more from home I'm working, the more like I realize I'm more of an introverted person. <laughs> that, comes, that comes pointing at the camera. <laughs> Now he's trying to talk to the camera. <laughs> um, and so yeah. I, it, it, simple things bother me. Like it bothers me like if, oh my gosh, <laughs> Beckham's trying to talk like it's a doorknob. <laughs> hey, she <laughs> won't stop. <laughs> I'm taking a video of this. It's really good. And so I, the, the fact that the people in, in the front of the house, like the, the, the curb, like the neighbors, the parking, the leaving of their trailers, like you know how much it's it bothers mm -hmm. me when like one of our neighbors will leave their trailer there like their camper trailer for you know a week or two and you're like hey dude like the rule here is like five days like mm -hmm. you know that thing has to be gone and you know he'll get it you know hook it up leave for you know a couple hours come back and then like the clock resets you mm -hmm. know and next thing you know you're doing like a three-way you know 
a pull out out of your own driveway where you're like this, a, a three point pull pull out out of your driveway. So yeah, um, I, I want. So I, you want like, and I agree. I I that, I think that's important to me too. Number one, like the curb appeal, which can be obviously it can be done. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's... Um, but to have that like either like what's the half circle drive or those are really cool uh-huh, or something that's just a longer drive in where the house isn't right off the street yeah i agree the space away away from it yeah I, every time we go to your parents property in uh, at the cabin I love the it. fact that yeah. there is you know maybe what 50 yards away from like the road like i drive it like i feel though i could see the house the neighbor's house is next to us but the driveway is is is, is, is like that much in it makes me not bothered by what other people choose yeah, to do. Yeah, you don't do. hear like the cars driving on the road. And even if you do, if you hear yeah. like a little dirt bike, you yeah. know, you're like, I don't really care. I just don't want to be bothered. It's where like not like, right in your eyesight. Yeah. Like we as humans are like, I don't think we're meant to live stacked on one another like that. I think we're supposed to have a little bit of wiggle room. And so like, like just the fact that our neighbors are like right there and, you know, every little bit of like, hey, like, you know, I always felt bad when we had the kids trampoline. It's like it's an eyesore for the neighbors next to us who don't have a big backyard. And it's right, like they can they're, see it, yeah. they're staring at our kids bouncing up and down. And I'm like, yeah. I feel bad about it. So, yeah, yeah. that's true. And then, and then like also another one is like even HOA. Like there's so many rules. But like when you're usually on a couple acres. Yeah. If you're not in a like subdivision, but just like a neighborhood, mm-hmm. it's not as But like, they're like, strict. put on your pants after yeah. like nine o'clock nine, in the morning yeah but before nine and i'm like whatever you want to do is free game i own this property i if i, if choose, I don't want to put on pants i ain't putting on pants listen some people can eat their eggs and sausage in the morning with pants on and you know what i salute those people yeah i'm not good one of those for people. you yeah yeah but i am not one of those I, people. my mother raised me differently yeah we believe we believe that pants are optional reality is just a suggestion yeah. and gender is a context <laughs> Is a construct, so um, yeah. No, I, I don't want to be bothered. Like I feel like if the more I just kind of, I always, I always get to that point when we go to a parents' property. I'm like, I just forget that people are around here. Though yeah. I can see their houses yeah. sometimes. I can hear them talking if they're loud. I just, there's like a sense of calm, I guess. Like you walk, you walk around like going upstairs. We have to walk by our front door, and it's like you see what your neighbors are like. Oh, great! They're getting a bunch of people over, and they're parking all over. They're basically, you know, in front of our house, and I don't like that. I don't think I don't I don't like that one bit. Um, So yeah, those are those are my basic things. I think I don't have that big of a list. I feel like well, because you know, like it for you, you're like I can. Yeah, it's a blank canvas. Oh yeah, so I you know you're like I can fix this and do this this for me. I I also don't know that much about structure or anything, so I don't know if that's something that can be fixed. So to me, I'm like, it might be a deal breaker in my eyes, but to you, are like, oh, I can fix that. So see, the rest of it for me is more of like, um, we could alter. Like for example, yeah. notice I didn't say things like I want the shop space to be really close or really far from the house. Not because I could, I'm not bothered bothered by it because I can bring the house or the shop closer or further away. No, it's more of like I can create a more of an inviting atmosphere where it's like whether it's like a paved mm-hmm. walkway from the house to the shop right. with lights and overhang or whatever. Like that doesn't matter. Like we can figure that out. Like backyard. I didn't say a single thing about backyard except the fact that it has to have character in terms of trees because everything else, like I'm kind of already envisioning like I would dig a trench, place a bunch of lights floodlights into the ground to like point at trees and bushes and shrubbery you're gonna make like a that. moat around the house so nobody alligators can get in. yeah we'll have you're gonna have a drawbridge so I that people drawbridge. can't mm-hmm. only mm-hmm. if they're welcome and i hope you're well aware that the, the moats historically are known to have not only alligators but also feces inside of it so yes and it's only only makes sense it, to do what was done back then well let me ask you this how important is safety to you <laughs> very so thank you for asking yeah so see listen i i i, I I'm, I'm buying guns at any what so rate yeah. i can but um alligators man, are important too a man gets to a point in his life when he considers himself like these are not enough we need fecal More. matter yes <laughs> and and alligators but, alligators. but, but mostly fecal matter yeah, <laughs> because that will make a difference <laughs> in the world. When an when, when intruder comes in who is trying to rape our family, like they, when they smell that, they go, I don't want to rape. I don't want to rape this family. Yeah, listen, 
They have fecal matter in their moat. I'm imagine out of here. what they have inside the house. <laughs> if this is what they have on the outside, yeah. imagine what's on the inside. Yeah. Good. 100%. That's the way I think. Yeah. That's the way America thinks. Amen. Amen. So I'm glad you're on board with that. I'm also going to need you, a son. separate budget for guns. <laughs> the moat. The moat. Oh, also guns. Yeah. Well, the moat yeah. I can dig oh, up. The, yeah. You, the, the I, I, there's a small chance we're going to have to start paying for the fecal matter because listen, listen, we can get plain, you know, 50, maybe 60 gallons of fecal matter. That's not a problem. I know a but guy. But more than that. <laughs> but after that. I know two guys. Yeah. It's called our children. Well, we know you're irregular. <laughs> so it's not like you're going to be contributing. I can't contribute. Yeah, you can't contribute. I, Beckham and Jack on the other hand. Three times a day. You can put me down for three times a day. That's fine. As Probably long as the coffee is a brewing. Yeah. The boys, <laughs> once, once a day. Maybe twice. Imp- yeah. An impressive amount, but still once a day. Yeah um beckham so got, would win with the smell so his yeah. might be smaller but the amount of smell it it it, it, it we'll have to plant report. beckham's in every, every like five feet because his will win over his will the people will die between myself and the boys before they even get to the moat between myself and the boys knowing how irregular you and harper are, i would say listen if you wanted a, a a puddle worth of a moat sure but if you truly want a real moat on on the ability to cover a house that's 4,000 square feet or so around in diameter, we need help. <laughs> we need help. We need help. So send your feces to... <laughs> Listen. Hello at the next... <laughs> okay. Yeah. P.O. Box 431. We have a couple of questions, though, before you send it in. Yeah. Like, what is your dietary yeah. restrictions? Yeah. Like, if you're um, one of those people who... Color, odor. Yeah. Amount. Well, you also want to know, like, okay, so do you really want feces from somebody who is um, all vegan? Like, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be pretty stinky. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's a good thing, right? You want it stinky. Wow, wow. you're out. really trying to protect this house, huh? Listen, yes. I respect it. I respect it a lot. Thank you. Uh, I see which, I, at first I was judging you and I was like, uh, I think she's just trying to, I think she's trying to sweet talk me yeah. with the poop talk. But... <laughs> I was at first. But now first. I'm starting to realize you're I'm trying to protect for the fa- I'm yeah. trying to protect our family. I respect that. I respect that a lot. I'm trying to protect, protect us and make sure. Well, clearly you're a person who doesn't want our family to get raped. So I'm, I'm all supportive You guys are, that. yeah. Safety mm-hmm. is my priority. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Do you have any anything else about the house that, okay, so we talked about non-negotiables. Is there... Is there a, a, a dream that you want for this particular house? Because I know you mentioned something about like you you whittled this crazy idea of painting our the exterior of our house flat black. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That is pretty uh, crazy. Somebody, so, especially from you, because I remember for the longest time, you love that white farmhouse mm-hmm. exterior. I feel like in the last just even like four, three, four months, I... I mean, because for, yeah, for a long time, I, I just loved like the light, airy, white, everything. But as, I don't know, maybe my, what's the word I'm looking for? Hormones? Yes. Okay. My hormones changed everything. Yeah. Rawr. Now yeah. everything moody and dark and Interesting. cold. And American and flags and cigars yes. and Frank Sinatra and Muhammad Ali. Yes. No, I think just as my... um design um experience or expert i don't i guess experience has sure. like evolved it's like it, it's always evolving and so i think the next my next kind of i don't know it's hard to describe i don't know what i'm thinking of but like the next well inspiration maybe inspiration um Obviously, I get a lot of inspiration from like other designers and in, like Pinterest, all the things. Something and so, you're excited about. It's so like a next. Uh, well, it's just like something different. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Like it's something different that like the white cabinets, you know, everybody's done. And so I, I feel like this trend is everybody, is da- is is everybody done with white cabinets. Well, I think they're always going to be the classic look. Mm. I don't think they're ever going to be out. Because even if you think back to like the 90s, the 2000s, there's, there's always been white. Mm-hmm. But then there's like this trend that started, you know, like five years ago where it was like white everything, white quartz, white cabinets oh, um, yeah. with like brass. Um, and now it's kind of moving towards like the moodier look. And now it's a lot of these dark like this, like olive greens, uh-huh. dark blues, even 
blacks and so i've just kind of started loving the way it looks so i'm like would it be kind of cool to do something crazy and paint our house black do you know what i think it is i don't think that it's like um how do you what's the word you described it like uh um not you didn't say a word like phase or anything but like but it's pretty appropriate to say phase right trend trend you're the trend that you're currently on mm -hmm. i think the people that you're talking about the white cabinets and the white courts and the white everything in the kitchen i think you're talking about majority of the people who perhaps don't have too much of an eye for design but they know that this is kind of like what the because i've seen a lot of builders do that they'll they'll build like new construction build they'll come out and do an all-white kitchen and it almost seems like it's a way to be trendy um yeah or appealing without really knowing without being too bold and yes. I, so i think what you designers are Safe. doing is you guys are the more you guys get to experiment with some of these combinations being more you bold. guys are becoming yeah. more bold yeah. and i think it's like the people who like those like fashionistas who will like come in with like these boy jeans that are mom style jeans hooked up to the waist and baggy and they're right. wearing a belt and they have this dark maroon lipstick and you're like like something that no guy would be like i don't want to go talk to her but like <laughs> but like you girls are like oh that's a cute that's yeah, cute i see yeah. what she's doing that's, she's that's a good way of saying it. it is just stepping out and being bold and mm -hmm. it's almost like you're you're um almost crossing the line of too much yeah and so you're in in that like kind of but like not being safe with like the all white and <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, the, whatever it does but you're like kind of straddling the line of like too much and i too think, bold i think and this because i've kind of been playing around with this i think you guys are, don't do this for it's kind of like you girls you girls don't dress for your husbands or boyfriends you dress for your girlfriends like some of your 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 designs and whatever or combinations and but you do it for only certain ones of your girlfriends who are as fashion forward as you are so i think the same way you're not styling and designing these houses for the masses right for the people who you know still like don't have any design you know uh, approach in their body mm -hmm. you do it for the other designers that to kind of you kind of do it for yourself and them you know what i mean like i think because yeah. if you if you take a poll right now and you put a house a picture of a kitchen that's like got the moody colors and this really bold stuff like brass and you know what i mean like mm -hmm. but really a really well put together but like pretty uh ballsy and you and you take a poll against that against an all-white kitchen with white corner courts and 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 a backsplash that's perhaps gonna be subway tile or something mm -hmm. like that the classic classic i and you do like a poll across the united states of homeowners i'm pretty sure the majority of people are going to favor this classic look of white countertops white mm -hmm. and then uh the people who voted for this other thing were people who always had that bone in their body where they're like that that's risky cool. i yeah. like it it's yeah. different i want to be di and so I, I think that's what it is it's like as a designer you always want to per keep evolving and pursuing like the next and pushing the like, envelope too. yeah like the next trend the next what what what's something that's so different that nobody's done mm -hmm. and you do that with building right sure. like some you want to create something that nobody's done yet in at least part of your um, and i don't think i've ever created something that nobody's ever done i you've think put your own twist to it twist yeah a very non-traditional yes. and you can and I, you could tell that because if you read some of my comments you'll hear people go like oh that's cool but here's what i would have done differently mm -hmm. Or, oh, that's cool. And to be honest with you, no real, like, no designer would be like, whatever approach you be like, that's cool. But what I would do differently is this. They would say like, oh, I appreciate I like what that. you did there. Yeah. Maybe it's not myself, but I appreciate that. Um, versus people who are non-designers be like, that's cool and all. But this think that I, I can't imagine dusting that. Like, nobody thinks about that. Nobody thinks about building an abstract, you know, barn door, you know, that's very, like, different and be like, Oh, I got to think about dusting that thing. I'm like, no, you design it so it's like, how different can it be? How cool can it yeah, be? Yeah, because then it's got that wow factor, and yeah. I think that's a lot of it. Is how can you create something that gives it like that wow factor, and that's something so different and fun, and but also, I don't know, speaks to like your personality and what you wanted to do. Because like to me, I 
like i've always been that person that wanted everything white like i said sure. like in light and airy and it's crazy to see how i've slowly been i guess um moving away from that yeah no it's cool and i, and think, I think a lot of it has been you too like with remodeling i'm like yeah. we can't always do the white cabinets or whatever with the wood shelves like we can't we have to start experimenting with other th fun um color palettes well and the big thing color that we, schemes the big thing that we always say is the wow factor so mm -hmm. for me i don't necessarily do it because i have this like way of like i want to push the envelope for me it's more of like i we i i'm making this video we're doing this project i need a wow factor yes and if we're going to just do like these, you know, neutral floors and neutral cabinets and neutral countertops coming from a very dated 90s mm -hmm. thing, that doesn't give me enough of a wow factor. Like I need something whether it's high concentrate in detail yes, or, or whatever. So and, different. And so I remember you and I, I remember the first time we started exploring because I feel like we both evolved into the same kind of path together and i remember when we did our our laundry room and that was before we did anything else in our house that's like kind of like bold and i was like listen i have a way of doing this i have a sponsor to do this 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 uh, laundry room but it needs to be it needs to be different and so we kind of did like i think the walls were yeah. like this color and then we did countertops that were concrete and then right. the appliances were black and then the the cabinets that were overhanging were like that natural wood color and uh the that's true backsplash, the first the, one that was a little bit the, moody yeah. yeah and so it, it was moody and so i think from that point I th uh, unintentionally it sparked this thing in, yeah. in ourselves that we're like what if we just keep trying to make things like a very different so and different yeah i think a lot of it is also though we our first house was like a f kind of a flip right so we did everything very basic we kind of experimented with um you did like built-ins and sure. it was kind of like the start of it. It was a quick sell kind yeah, of. Yeah. And then with this house, we did, we did that light airy look. And so now I almost feel like we've already done that. What's yeah. the next thing we can do? You mm -hmm. know, that's, I don't want to recreate this house. Yeah. I want to make our next house a completely different house. Sure. You know, that's, you don't want to do the classic. Like, no, you don't for wanna, example, we're not going to paint the walls the same exact color. No, and no the absolutely not. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to recreate this mm -hmm. house. I want to do something completely different and mm -hmm. something that's still us. Right. But also love the process and start completely from scratch and say like, okay, how do we want to like, you know, the fearful part home. that I have about that is because in this that we house, won't love it. <laughs> well, I, I wonder if it'll be seasonal. And what I don't want to do is be like, yeah. hey, so three years ago, I was really into this color, but now I'm not. So can you paint that? And mm. to me, it's like if it's a big transformation, yeah, I got content out of it. But mm -hmm. if it's like, hey, we have to repaint the wall here. That's not a big transformation. It to me is now just like a honey do list kind of thing. Right. And yeah. so what I'm afraid of is like if we go too bold, uh, and this is just like not something that I'm losing sleep of, but I, the way I kind of anticipating is like with this house, I would say for the most part has a lot of accents in terms of like patterns, mm -hmm. but but the colors of the walls are neutral, the floors are pretty neutral, like the thing nothing's really that bold except for like a pattern. Well, and, and I think that's design. what I would do in the next house. It's mm -hmm. like it, I I I want. Um, obviously something different but i wouldn't paint the walls like all you know dark like menstruation green. red yes menstruation red that's a good color <laughs> that should be i wonder if a girl's the color of the year i wonder if certain girls listen to our podcast and i know there's plenty of guys but like i wonder if like certain girls that will listen to it and like listen to it in the car and then when, when i'll say certain things me they i'll turn say, it off no no i don't think there's, i wonder if they like dry heat like they're like <laughs> <laughs> menstruation, menstruation red <laughs> you're like yeah. where did that come it's from it's more like i think guys well, would drive well, heat over that girls are like oh yeah period menstruation red. no like oh yeah, yeah menstruation red. Yeah. good color good color no i i think I think to, like we need to stay um, in our lane because there's certain things that are trendy yeah. and certain things that are classic, right? Yeah. And they're gonna stay. Uh -huh. So anything that's I think neutral usually sticks around, right? Sure. So I think what is trendy now is like these olive green colors. Um, what are people doing? Like the, they'll paint their island a color. 
mm-hmm. and then keep their cabinets like something neutral, right? Yeah. Um, but I think if we stay... So the cabinet would be the accent piece. Though, yeah, but I feel like we stay in that neutral realm of like the big things and then do like an accent, like a door that's um, olive green or something, right? Like a really cool barn door to the bonus room. Because mm-hmm. that's the stuff that's like, okay, we can repaint it like someday if we decide. But even then, I think that's something that will always stay, that can always stay a bold color or a bold pattern right because it's it's a small area it's not it's not like an entire kitchen you know Hmm. cabinet cabinet so what you're saying is like you want to just experiment with just certain smaller not smaller but like certain just yeah uh, specific accent pieces that way it's just that's the thing well it kind of makes sense yeah. stylistically like what if you think about it like in the late I, 90s early yeah. 2000s uh, a lot of grand uh, things were very popular right yeah. like a really grand fireplace you mm-hmm. know brick inside the house stone inside the house yeah. and so I, I that was their way of saying this is a grand thing and or an accent piece so I wonder if that's kind of like a yeah. new thing yeah because there's always going to be trends right there's always going to be like the new color but I think if we choose something that's kind of like in the middle where it, it's kind of trendy but also it can st- like stick around and yeah. you know being a long long haul for us like you know like i said cabinets that are colored Mm -hmm. are kind of trendy now but i i already know myself and know if i paint any cabinets or an island like a color Mm -hmm. in like three years i'm gonna be sick of it right but if you have a very neutral color whether it's white like right now we have gray and i love it Mm -hmm. i would be i would do the same color cabinets Mm -hmm. now because it's such a neutral light color or like even um wood yeah let me ask you this um we've mentioned um and we can use this to kind of wrap up but like we've mentioned i think last time about the importance of a shop space yeah and to me uh, and i think oh, I always going back to the shop mr Listen. billet so i mentioned last time yeah. and this time at shop. least three times um yeah. shop i'm trying shop. to put that shop. idea shop 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 shop, 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 shop. you're gonna be whispering in my ear yeah tonight I, that's that's a um, that's hypnosis that it's bad. well so if, it's like that michael scott um on the office yeah where he's showing her pictures slides slides of and then him the end he says sex and then it's like this brief sex and goes yeah. away <laughs> three second thing sex and She's then he like, goes what? and that's and that's yeah. me and that's and me. she kind of freezes and she goes oh or not, or not, she goes not bad not bad <laughs> or um it's a picture of him pondering in yeah. the and he's like this is where i go to be alone with my thoughts nobody, nobody knows, knows where i go who took the picture ryan, ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you are to the office, we love you. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the, the office clan. Um, if so, it, it we know that the potential of whatever property we get revolves around. I don't want to say me, but like the ability. Me. But well, because it's me and you. But like the ability of like utilizing the tools yeah. to to do. It. Would you give up certain? things that are important to you if we found a piece of property that had like a really nice shop on it is there certain things that you're like all right i'm willing to let go of that <sighs> thing that used to I have be to sigh first. that's a Pro- difficult question to ask probably you know me i think like if i told you like in one of the houses we saw it, though it wasn't the right timing but it, it had a brand new shop space. It was a couple huge, of like, yeah. cu- I almost want to think it was like almost 15 or 2000 square feet or something like that. It was like huge. That. And, and it was almost like as big as a house. Right. Uh, or a bigger, or sorry, not as big because 1500 is not that big. Uh, it was probably like a 2000 square foot thing. It was like, like a half of the house. Um, to me, I saw that. And to me, I look at it as a factory. I was like, mm-hmm. this is a factory. If I'm given this factory, like, We'll dig a thousand miles into the magma <laughs> of this earth, and then we'll extend our house. Most people extend their That's house. Crazy up, we'll to me down. that you val like I value the shop because I know you need it, right? Sure. Um, but it's crazy to me that you would rather have that on the property. Yeah. Instead of like, we'll say we find a house that has like you won't even have to do anything structurally. But then you would have to build a shop. Uh-huh. 
or would you rather have already the shop there and have to like extend the house and build like the extend shop it out build i am more i'm more intimidated by the shop build why is that because it would have to be very tall it would have yeah. to be very large um which it in, and it's very outside of my comfort zone mm-hmm. including bringing the large uh construction equipment like but wouldn't you have to do that if you extended a house like say we have to to a degree to... so the only thing i'd have to do if like if we extended our house i would knock down whatever and then i would hire a company to come out and bring yeah. me the trusses with their 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 lifts right mm. their cranes and essentially what i would do i would do everything except i would have them put those trusses up mm-hmm. but if it's a shop built from ground up like a shop build i think with ryan's my friend's uh, uh parent or uh, cousin has a, a really nice shop and I was like, hey, how much is this? He's like, well, it's roughly around like 60 grand. I was like, oh, that's not bad. But then he goes, yeah, but like you're also looking at another 30 for like the concrete and the electrical. Oh, and you're like, oh, my yeah. gosh. Like, so that kind of gets you in a bind where like if it's already there, I could only have to hire out very small parts right. of like this large if equipment to, yeah. versus me building a shop. It would have to be me building the entire shop and I would be more nervous about right. a, a full structure. That like makes that. Sense. That's why like I would, I, I could, I, I would rather b- I, I extend a house that I, I work well when it's readily accessible things for me. Mm-hmm. And if it's stuff that are kind of reverse engineered, like I saw how it was built. So if like, if I tear if I want to extend this house, I would tear down half of the siding and I would see what's there. Right. And I go, I have to just continue this pattern out and then stop where we want to stop. Mm, With okay. the shop, it would have to be this whole thing of like, how do I make sure it doesn't tip, you know, while I'm putting each column up, like those, those factors in place versus like if we, if I get a house that needs a lot of transformation, but I have a shop space to me, I look at it as like, I have this factory, like I have these tools. You already have it there. And if the mm-hmm. tools are there, then the possibilities are endless. That's the, what kind of look at it. Versus if I had to build a shop working out of a two car garage, that's a different story. Right. In the right? beginning. Yeah. Cause like, that would take time too. You're build. basically working in a situation where you have to like set everything up every time. Like, so I don't know. That's, that's just kind of where I'm I will from. say, um, I would pr- probably compromise if it was a shop that you were like, this is what I need, this is what I want, because this is your career now. Like, yeah. it's we both value that, and I know how much you need it, and I know, you know, how much money it brings you. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I think you just like the paycheck. I was just, I, I was just I doing was just, a, a circle around. I always. <laughs> I think you just like the paychecks that are coming along with it's it. It's important to you. <laughs> it's important to I me. I know how important <laughs> money is important to me. I mean, to you. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, no, I get it. No, I get it. It's it's, but but like I don't know. I I think I have to be very careful how I portray that to you because I think. Uh, and I've been that experiences with you where like this house we, and we've shared this before like you you shed some tears right, yeah. right? and what I don't want to do is step into the next house and you be like I don't like this at all and me going like hey listen 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 we okay, got this yeah okay there's a shop right there that's a factory that's, that's the factory I've always wanted like that's that's yeah. I don't you know you have to kind of weigh obviously the house itself too but I know like not to give you like too many compliments here but <laughs> no, give me a thing. i know like what you're capable of right and so mm-hmm. i like i feel i feel like the like nothing is off the table when it comes to um remodeling the house right yeah so i think i think that's why i'd be comfortable like saying yes do you remember i uh, do i do remember if the next house that we're in um out of the box we i have to be in a garage that's like the size of my garage right now that i work out of or and or the let's say where you used to park in this house let's say that's the spot i don't know if that would be enough of a motivating factor for me to like dream big versus exactly if you have plenty of wiggle room yeah like to move around to think to not be like 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 if you're happy there it's like going back to what we talked about mm -hmm. um last week 
Well, you're talking about like, you know, if you just believe in somebody and give, yeah, let them buy that weekend. tool, mm-hmm. right? It's the same thing. Like when you have a space where you can be creative yeah. and have a place for everything and everything in its place. And you want to say. be there. And you want to be there. You want yeah. to create there. You make it your your own. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, then you all of a sudden you're like excited about working. You're excited yeah. about what's Pushing the next the project. Yeah. yeah, and then you have room to be yeah. creative. I feel bad. I There's agree. I know plenty of people who like they're the weekend warriors and like they to when it comes to building they have right. to bring all their tools in the driveway yeah. and move around all the stuff. To me, that's so much of an effort that I would want to lower the ceiling of the like the the possibilities of what I could. Or do. you'd want to like get it done quicker right. and the easiest way possible. But if yeah. somebody said like your dad has a shop for his business, but if somebody said, hey, here's a thousand square feet and I or 500 square feet, whatever it is, and I come in and I just set up in plenty of walking room and plenty yeah. of wiggle room and I could do whatever I want. It's like mm-hmm. a, a dream factory. Then I can go, who? Hey, what if we? What if we added another layer to this house? You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. you just start, you start, you have that and some real. of the things are just dumb and they're not going to work. But like it, it just makes you go. Well, it makes you excited. What do you want to yeah. do? What do you want to do? Versus like right now in my garage, like I have so much stuff set up. Like I'm tripping over stuff. I'm yeah. walking over stuff, and like I frankly don't want to be there. I don't yeah. want to be there. Yeah, that's a so. huge motivating factor for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, I think this is good. I think we got a lot of we things. Um, I think we just saved ourselves from a lot of fights and a lot of tears. We did. This yeah. is good. We hash it out. Yeah. We just counseled in the, each other. In like public. So yeah. we we, ha- we have to be civil. We counseled each other. Yeah, right we now. did. So we did. We you're just welcome. saved ourselves 100 bucks. And you're welcome to you as well. Yes. Thank yeah, you very yeah. much. Wow. And I, I you the same you. as well. Yes. And I sure. you. <laughs> well, hey, um, thanks for sitting down thank with you me. Guys thanks you guys for listening. For, yeah. Thanks for listening to our uh, nonsense here. Yeah. And um, we'll uh, see. It'll be interesting to see. You know, five months down the road, six months down the road to see if these um, non-negotiables work through. Yeah, work through. Yeah, and something for they... people to listen to as well. It'd be fun to kind of look back at this. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like uh, this these conversations, uh, this podcast, make sure you please share it with your friends. Uh, that's how we grow. Um, like it, comment, subscribe, uh, review it. You know, the whole shebang. Check us out on YouTube yeah. as well. And thanks for listening. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>